Hey Stat Movie fans, my name's Hillary and I appeared as Linda in the movie Cinco. I believe that we filmed that back around 2014. I know I was 22 at the time, um, so I'm 28 now. Filming Cinco was a really interesting experience because I had never done anything like that before. The original plan was that I was supposed to play the role of Laurel. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll just go, I'll get killed off, you know, no pressure. Turns out that Ashley, the actress who played Laurel in the film, she was supposed to be Linda, but she ended up having to go home due to the time constraint. We ended up casting her as Laurel, and then I ended up being Linda. So that was a big change in role. So I was no longer having like the easy role of just going in, getting killed, you know. Um, I was now, you know, in it for the whole film, and um, I, you know, I thought, okay, no problem, like, I'll, I can do it. <laughs> it was a really interesting experience working with the cast. It seemed like everyone knew what they were doing more than I did. Josh was all over the place. He's like, on fire when he was working, <laughs> so that was great to see and watch because, you know, it's good to be productive, and he's certainly productive. <laughs> My sister actually played the role of um, Sharon. So my sister was Sharon, uh, I was Linda, so that was fun to be able to do that with my sister and it was kind of reassuring. We filmed Cinco in the back of this uh, restaurant that kind of had a back bar um, area that I think they opened up later in the night. So we rented that out um, earlier in the evening and it was kind of funny because um, all of the uh, restaurant patrons were there while we were filming. So we kind of had to work around that. We kept to ourselves, but you know, it's hard to film a horror movie when uh, there's people dining right behind the wall. I gotta say, I was really a little bit nervous. It was one of the things I was the most nervous about, actually, was that um, it was like taking place in a nightclub. And I am, I, you know, I've been to clubs, but I'm not a night person, uh, nightclub person. So I, like, I didn't own any heels. I didn't have, like, any dresses. So I was like, this shirt has sequins on it, so I think this will be fine. Um, so I was, like, really nervous about that because, uh, like, Ashley was fitting the role much better than my sister and I, who are just weird art kids and not not one to have heels, I suppose. <laughs> it was funny being in the restaurant, trying to make it like a, a nightclub, and but and trying to keep it down for the people dining. But uh, one thing that did, I think, get us in a little trouble was there were a few scenes of jiggling the handles of the door and like banging on the door. And that was going right out into the uh, restaurant. So, you know, it was all fine though. Everything was all well and good. So we had two different types of blood on the set. So one was edible and one was not. So we used the edible blood for any blood in the mouth um, when they, they ate those hearts. Uh, so we used that for the, or we used the edible blood for those. So they had the non-edible blood as well. One of the last scenes where I get kind of sprayed in the face with blood, <laughs> well, it was supposed to just kind of be like a boop and just like, you know, get some blood splatter on me but it ended up being shot kind of like with the the bottle shot straight and kind of, and forcefully and it ended up you can see it in the film um that it just goes right into my mouth and like right onto this part of my face and you can see my face like oh and yeah i think we had to pause and take a break after that because <laughs> Um, I was like, I need something to drink. That was like the funniest experience I remember. But I mean, the whole thing was fun. The whole behind the scenes and everything. Everyone was getting along real well and, you know, just goofing off, you know, productively. Like, just having fun. And then, you know, we take a break and go back to filming. And I, it took, um, it took multiple days. I can't recall how many exactly. But I think Stop Movies does a great job. Josh does a great job. And, you know, he's constantly putting out work, so you got to stay tuned to him and, you know, keep up with all the new horror movies coming out. <laughs> um, I know I'm a huge horror fan, so I was actually glad to be a part of that movie um, just to try it out. So, you know, who knows, maybe one day. 